Hello and welcome to Cure Audio NA. Today we're going to take a look at the Pioneer AVH 5200 BT. The main features on the stereo are a 4x50 MOSFET amplifier, you have 24 preset stations for AM, FM and medium wave bands. The unit plays all your CD collection and DVD collection on DVD, DVD-R, DVD-RW in VR mode. It will also play your CD collection in CD, CD-R and video CD. It also plays compressed files on audio in MP3, WMA and Apple Mac Compact on CD, USB, SD it will play DVX format and JPEG format on DVD, CD, USB and SD card reader. You will also be able to connect an iPod or iPhone via an additional cable to CD-IU50V. The CD-IU50V is not to be mixed up with the CD-IU50. The screen is a 7 inch motorized screen with a flip close on the unit you have integrated part Bluetooth and we will take a look at this in a few minutes in detail the Pioneer AVH 5200 BT has advanced sound retriever which will decompress mp3 formatted CDs into about the same con compression of a normal CD format. It will decompress mp3s, WMAs and AACs on the CD, DVD, USB, flash drive and iPod. The unit also has Dolby Digital with an 8 band graphic equalizer with a 7 preset graphic EQ. Some of the new features on the Pioneer AVH 5200BT are you have time correction for acoustically setting your speakers in the car to the size of the cabin in the vehicle. This will give you a perfect sound quality inside your vehicle. You also have dual zone for vehicle settings for extra screens where you can have like a DVD player in the back playing on the rear speakers on two headrest monitors watching the film and up front in the front of the car you can have your iPod or you can have your radio or the Bluetooth being used on the front speakers. You also now new to the AVH range you can add on the AVIC F2200 sorry the AVIC F220 add on navigation box which will give you a single DIN format with navigation built in. The navigation is for all of Europe. Now we're going to take a look at how the Bluetooth function on the AVH 5200 BT works. Here you have a little phone icon, you tap that and it will take you into the phone menu options. You have your signal strength, battery, date, bluetooth connection, name of phone, direct dialing, you can go into calls receive, calls dialed, incoming calls, phone book, go straight into it, into alphabet, And take a look in the number, tap on the number again, call or hang up, we go out to go out of it, you return, auto answer, auto phone, and you also can have six presetted numbers, which you can save a number to each one of the presetted stations for quick dialing. And that's it for the Bluetooth function to return out of the menu. Again, you're out. 
you're in the radio again quick pulls it up radio back into iPod again quickly and there you go now to quickly show you how you actually connect the SD card to this unit you have to close the face here you go just under the open button you put your thumb and it clips out just pull towards yourself and in here you have the SD slot behind the removable panel that can be took off for anti-theft to reinsert it to the volume button you put, place the corner of the face in and then just push into your hair clip then it will open up and start up again now to take a look at the iPod function on the stereo we have an iTouch connected up to the device here we have the auxiliary in and USB on the CD IU50 cable connected to get the iPod to work, you select the iPod function on the left, scroll into the menu, playlists, music in the 90s, back out, we'll go into artists, again it'll give you all the artists, you can scroll down them, quick search function, hit ABC, scroll across the bottom, into Rihanna, Now you can see it's selected in the song. Now to take a look at the rear of the unit on the Pioneer AVH 5200 BT. We'll firstly take a look. You have six RCA connection, subwoofer, rear and front. Just situated slightly below it, you'll have your skirt lead for your ISO adapter. Here you have the fan to keep the unit cool. Now looking here, you have a video output or input for the reversing camera, video output for extra screens, and video input. Then you have your microphone connection, wired remote input. For if you've got factory fitted steering controls on your car, you can buy an additional cable to allow you to attach these. Then you have also a rear monitor audio output for if you want to connect cordless headphones via your additional screens in the rear. Here you have the RGB cable for adding on the AVIC F2220 add-on sat nav box and moving across here you have a little extra box which you just basically plug on to the stereo and then here to the side you will see that we have the antenna input 